His eyes were open, and he saw where he had erred. And and the guy says to him, he says, because you because the because your sin was used to blaspheme the Lord against his enemies. That's powerful. Mm-hmm. Your son will die. That's what it says in the Bible. Your sin it's in first Samuel no, second Samuel twelve, one through fourteen. That's the whole story if you want to check it out. Twelve, one through fourteen. It actually says it. It says that he blasphemed the devil blasphemed the Lord with David's sin so like somebody that was close to him could hurt him see he holds us close to him and when we sin we hurt him <clears throat> and and people that are far away they don't hurt you as bad but that's how vulnerable that God makes himself for us I want you to hear that I want you to see what your sin does not to be the spirit of conviction or condemnation, actually, but to be the spirit of conviction. But anyway, um, yet he still reaches out to me and you, waiting to express his love, for God is love. He can't be anything less than that. He allows us to make mistakes where our very bodies become an accusation against the very act of sacrifice that frees us from sickness and death. That's powerful. Because he gives us a choice. Love, by definition, is a choice. Um, he allowed. I actually made this one up. <laughs> he allows us to make <laughs> mistakes where our very bodies become an accusation. I guess you could use the same thing. Accusation against the very act of sacrifice that frees us from sickness and every death because he gives us a choice. choice. He gives us a choice to be sick, to hold sickness in our body, <clears throat> or to take it to the cross. And if we hold it in our body, yes, we'll be saved and we'll go to heaven. Mm-hmm. But you will live a powerless life on this earth. Okay. Take, um, uh, I, won't, I won't go there because I've got more places to go. <clears throat> but I look back and see nothing but a loving father in my situation. I mean, I've been through Hades. My husband was killed by a shark. My previous husband was killed by a shark. And I went through numerous trials after that. But see, that's how I know my father. All It's just like Abraham. All those trials have brought me where I am today. And I would take nothing for those trials, even though he's all I had to walk through those trials. I'm a living witness for that. One day I'll write a book. <laughs> but it was one crushing blow after another. But like I said, I look back and I see nothing but a loving father that allowed me to go through those things to make me depend on him alone. At first I would call my friends and I would be like, "Ah," and I'd fill their ear up. And then one night God said, why don't you just tell me about it? And I stopped calling my friends. I started telling him about it. And he started becoming the only person I told to. I mean, I love my husband. I adore him. But you can ask him. I don't bring my problems to him. He can't fix them. He's just a man. Sometimes he can. I bring small ones to him. But... But I would overbear him with all the problems that I have. He can't fix that. After he prepares you, he will allow you to be tested and know that he'll be pulling for you. Um, Who would want to be an Abraham? Who wants to be a father of faith? That's what he's called, a father of faith. Forget it. Just let me get my spot in heaven, my mansion, my white picket fence, my dog next to the hallelujah course. But if that's what you have to go through to be there, forget it. Is that what you're saying? Is that too much for you? Well, listen to this. James says, count it all joy when you fall into testing and trials and temptations. And those are all the same word, by the way. But he says that all of that is so that, and the word is perissimos, which is the same word we're dealing with, so that you can lack nothing. You will be complete. To be complete. This is this is huge, y'all. Listen to this. To be complete. Faith, love, and hope. And the greatest of these is love. There are three great virtues. Okay? Abraham had faith developed in him. And that's when he didn't know where he was going, he went. Okay? So that's where he had faith. We got faith, love, and hope. Okay? Mm-hmm. 
Where he didn't know he was going, he went. So that's faith. That's where that was built in him. Right. Now, hope. Against hope, he believed in hope, and hope is the absolute expectation of good. Okay? Hope was developed in Abraham to believe for a baby, even though it was impossible. For those that have missed, Abraham was 100 years old, Sarah was 90. Their womb and all their birthing facilities was over. <laughs> but yet God said, you're going to have a child. And God performed it. Okay? So that's where hope came from. Now love, this is what's interesting. This is very specific too. We're in the 22nd chapter of Genesis. You would think that the word love would have crossed at least one time, but it hasn't. This is the first mention of love. And that's a law in the Bible. When you see um, a, a word for the very first time, it's called the law of first mention. And what it said in here was, take your son, your only son, whom you love. First law of mention. First law of mention. So the very first time love is mentioned, God waits 22 chapters. So he says, I know you love him, but Abraham, you have to love me more. And God, every day, he puts a test in front of you to ask you, do you love me more? And it's for you. It's not for anybody else. It's for you because he is the only one that will be there for you every single time. So he says, I'm offering you a chance, Abraham, to grow exponentially. That's exactly what this was. This was a, a test to, to grow exponentially. Did Abraham know that? I don't know. But I know I've sensed several times when I've been going through my trials. I'm like, immediate obedience causes exponential growth. You can grow. If people come to me and they go, where did you get all this stuff? You know what I did? I just trusted. I went, Lord, I don't understand, but please help me. <laughs> and I just went, <laughs> and I just started growing. And actually, it's more like this. Okay? But it's just that early in the morning, after God tells me to do whatever, <laughs> I'm there. That's all it was. I've been really, truly walking with him like this for five years. I've been walking with him for 15. But walking with him like this, where I see the Bible in matrix form for five years. Just because of obedience. So he wanted to know that that he loved him more than Isaac. And he's his, he's his promised child. But if you want to avoid trials and be scared of your own shadow, you'll be afraid of everything. You won't have any peace. You won't have any security. And you'll be like weak without muscles, like those puny guys. <laughs> okay. So... My advice to you is to avoid the path to Moriah. This is the path to Moriah. You need something? You got you got what you need? Oh, okay. Um, avoid the path to Moriah at all costs. Stay clear of God's gem, not gold's gem. Because <laughs> God's gem is where you grow. When the enemy comes, you will always have to hide in fear. But if you want to be entire... Complete and lacking nothing. There's only one way. The second thing is contemplation. Abraham was given a job to do so God could teach others. See, this story is about Jesus later on. Okay? Um, God wanted to teach others about his son, which is something bigger than Abraham. So your Christian life will change when you finally know that God does not exist for you to be your butler. You exist for him. He is not your blesser or your butler. If you're in a struggle, it may very well be because of God's hand. I know a lot of people that rebuke the devil. But honestly, more times than the devil, it's been God's hand that has resisted me. Because he knew that if I came over here with the very thing that I thought I wanted, it would destroy me. All things were created for thy pleasure, O Lord. If that's in Revelation. Um, look at the instructions. We, we talked about the, the red sea. Okay. So <clears throat> now we're at chapter 4. Now we're back to Genesis 22. 